And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. And today we got the new NFL Draft promo. I'm going to be going over in today's video specifically though, what you should be doing first during the NFL Draft promo. Now guys, if you have not already, make sure to blow. Hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. If you've been enjoying the content, make sure to like the video as well and comment down below if you guys have any questions. Now, as you guys know, NFL Draft Promo just dropped this morning at 10:30 a.m. If you have not checked that video out, make sure to go check that out. As always, greatly appreciate it when you guys check out all my vids for the day. But this video is going to be primarily focused on what to do first in the promo. Now, guys, as you guys know, big promo, really big promo, long ass promo. Going to be a lot to be going over. Now, what would I specifically do first? I'm going to get into all of that, guys. But hopefully, you guys, thank you guys so much for all the. Uh, Support lately, I appreciate it, even at this time of Madden, guys. It's already April, pretty crazy. April 17th, we're still quarantined. Before you know it, Madden 21 is going to be here. It's going to be pretty crazy, even if there's no NFL season. I don't know what they'll be dropping. They'll be dropping Team of the Decades instead of Team of the Weeks. I don't know what they'll be doing, but guys, let's get into this video. So first things first, before you start anything, what I recommend doing, if you have it right now, and if you are a money spender, come over to the store and get this Draft 20 collectible. Now, guys, let me explain this to you before you guys kill me. If you don't have $5 to do it and you're quarantined right now and time stuff, I get it. Don't, don't, don't waste your money. Save your money. You could use it on food and other stuff that's more important. But if you have it sitting around and you've been saving some money for some Xbox, this is a pretty good value. So the way this works is pick one through 32. You open this pack five bucks with e-access, it's approximately 450. So the way this works is that you're going to go on ahead and open it up and you get one random pick one through 32, like a random card draw. Whatever pick you get is that player you get from real life. So if you get pick number one, which it says right here's a 3.1%, you get pick number one, you are going to be getting a 99 overall Joe Burrow more than likely. You get pick two, three, four, or five, which again is a 12%, which is actually a lot better. Uh, not a bad percent at all. But you get 12% and you get Chase Young, Jeff Okuda, Isaiah Simmons, and Tua Tagovailoa more than likely. You get pick six to 10. Guys, I'm not that fluent in draft players at this point right now so i'm only go as far as the five but pick six to ten maybe you get like a one of the receivers judy rugs lamb i don't really know who goes there maybe you get love a lot of guys all right but pretty much pick number one is 99 pick number two through five is 98 pick six to ten is 97 and I, I believe picks 11 through 20 might be 96 and picks 21 to 32 are 95 so you're guaranteed a 95 plus player for five bucks or 450 with the access guys that is a steal now more than likely i mean most people if you get lucky will get at least a 96 so pretty decent chances i mean there's still a good chance of getting 95 but the point is more than likely you're gonna get at least a 95 or 96 right so i mean that's guaranteed so that's not a bad that's just to me it's not a bad value or you get joe burrow and the best thing about it is these do morph into players so like let's say you get the number one overall pick when joe burrow gets drafted that night of you will have a 99 joe burrow to use when chase young i think they're only going up to the uh first is it first five or first it might be either first five or first ten picks i think it was first five only the first five picks will have in-game cards night of draft. Everyone else will get them the night after. So if you get one of the top five picks, you will have a player to use that night. Super cool. Now, once you do all that, next thing you want to come over and do, in my opinion, is get your... Okay, so I was going to say solos, but I think that you want to be going with your headset seasons first. Get your house rules done. Now, the house rules, because it's a limited time event, souls will be there forever, and you get a better player. So go on and go play the played out house rules. Switch it up with house rules. Get as many wins as possible to earn draft players. So look at the rewards here. So for five wins, you get an 86 overall player, 21 through 32 draft pack. That's not bad. 86 overall player free, not bad. 10 wins, 86 overall, not bad. 15 wins, 90 overall, not bad. 20, 25 wins, you get two draft diamond collectibles, which can be used for a free 97. So you pretty much get a free 97 if you get 25 wins. So if you get 25 wins, you get 90, 86, 86, and 97. Then you get 30 wins, you get a 98 overall nat draft class 20 player. Now, if you guys do know, the class of 2020 that does stand for this year's draft these players are not out yet so that pretty much implies you will be getting a pick two through five because picks two through five are the 98 overall so pretty much 30 wins in house rules is a guaranteed chase young isaiah simmons jeff okuda or two attack by loa and i believe it's fantasy it's a fantasy draft uh fantasy pack so as long if Tua, chase young isaiah simmons and um okuda get picked there you get to pick who you want so you want two attack by loa get them I'll probably, in my opinion, go with Okuda or Jeff Young, or Jeff Young, Chase Young. Maybe Isaiah Simmons if he's a left outside. I don't know. It's a tough. Those are all good, great players. And if Joe Burrow falls out of the number one pick and he's not number one pick, well, there you go. You now have him for super, super cheap right there for free. So you're getting a free top five pick besides number one. That's that's awesome. And you get two, a free 97. And you're getting, um, you know, whatever you get, the 300 coins per game, the nap players. You got to be playing these house rules next. I don't know how long these are lasting. It doesn't, doesn't say here, right? 
probably a week probably a week so get these done first the souls can always be played later but i recommend you get this done a free 90 play like i said chase young gonna be one of the best pass rushers in man gonna be super fast super strong crazy good jeff okuda gonna be a super great cornerback lockdown isaiah simmons gonna be a pass rushing style left outside linebacker or right outside i'm not entirely sure yet which outside linebacker he plays and madden's kind of weird they might even put him at end madden's weird like that like mac like you never know where they're playing at so just we gotta wait and see on that one and then obviously two attack by low will be an awesome awesome mobile quarterback now if madden's really gonna be cool what they'll do is they'll make it so that these players can be uh get abilities and sprinter and everything without being powered up because obviously they don't have power-ups and they won't get power-ups so madden's cool they, they make it like team of the week uh limited times you could put things on them get Tua with what is that in the 98 so Tua with three abilities crazy good stats could be super super fun to play with some Tua like that but we gotta wait and see hopefully we can only hope that that's like that's the case with everything next once you've done all that you want to come over to your solos and start getting the diamond uh diamond diamond draft collectibles going because you already got four i mean you got two from the other one and you can have a total of four now remember guys you can get more diamond collectibles than actually able to be used so what i mean by that is i think you can get up to like six diamond draft collectibles but you can only use four for two free 97s so the extra ones they said will be assigned a quick sell value at a later date so tier one right here you get nat 11 to 20 you get another 90 overall you get a draft diamond collectible then you get 290 overall. So remember, from the other thing, you got 190 overall. Now you got three. You got like three plus the one. You got 490 overalls for free. You can quick sell them. You can put them in backups, guys. Remember, don't sleep on putting 90s at backups. So quick selling them for like a thousand training isn't worth it. Trust me. Put them as a backup. Put times two chems on them. Put sprinter on them. Power them up. Whatever you got to do. But trust me, uh, these probably can't be powered up actually because these probably just I don't even know if these are low players. These just like players. I don't really know. But put chems on them having a team fully come out really increased your chances of having your team super powered up but now you get two draft diamonds you now have your four draft diamonds which you can take which i'll show you guys in a second in the sets you take all four you get two free 97 so had you followed my order you now have a free 97 a free 98 and a free 97 so you have two draft heroes and a draft um player two through five which you won't be getting it's a collectible remember it will not morph until the night of draft night but since picks one through five get morphed instantly that night on draft night once they get drafted and the madden released them into the game you will be getting it that night then you get a free 93 two more draft diamonds and another free 93 now these two draft diamonds you will be able to quick sell but they did say not until like the promo's over i'm pretty sure so you gotta hold on to them then you get another 93 and then 50,000 coins so you're getting a great value here just a great overall value not that bad now remember guys i'm gonna show you guys in the sets what i'm talking about and how this is all gonna work pretty much so remember now once you have your dra draft diamonds you essentially have two free 97s so you're gonna come over to sets go over to nfl draft and you're going to want to come over to draft diamond sets. So you have two here. You have 97 draft hero and 97 overall draft class hero. So you're going to put them both into here and you get to get a nat one. Now you get to, it's a fantasy pack. So you get to choose any 97 draft class player. So pretty solid. And then for draft class 20, pretty much you're guaranteed a 98 overall from right here. So you're going to get one of these and they will transform by 11 59 PM. So pretty much by the end of that night, it's pretty much what it's saying on april 23rd and then draft picks oh wrong place so pretty much with the free 97s you get to pick two of these you could pick anyone besides cam Newton. you can get von miller i don't recommend anthony munoz good option aj green don't recommend pat pete good option leonard williams don't recommend ap don't recommend roquan smith decent option anthony Barr. he's actually not bad he's not bad at all todd Gurley, bad option watt bad option odell solid option darren Payne, bad option malcolm jenkins bad option pierre paul bad option Brian Burns is decent. CJ Mosley is decent. Adore Jackson, I don't recommend. Juwan James is decent at right tackle. Frank Ragno, decent if you want linemen. Darnell Savage is actually pretty solid, but he cannot be powered up, so I'm going to pass on that one. Bud Dupree is decent. Evan Ingram is a really good one. He is a really, really good one. He gets like powered up in Kemdo, going to get like 97 speed at tight end. Solid. David Castro is decent. Decent. Okay. Decent. 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 So you guys pretty much saw what I like there. I pretty much gave you guys my breakdown real quick. Not gonna go into stats, obviously don't got time for that, but giving you guys a pretty decent breakdown. You'll probably see some ranking videos either me tomorrow or some other YouTubers, depending on the thing. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to cap everything up for you guys. When you first get into the promo, go buy your draft collectible pack if the money is right for you right now. Like I said, I'm not telling you to you have to buy it. I'm telling you if you can buy it, I'd recommend you buy it. Got it? Then go over to house rules get those done 30 wins probably takes you a day or two three days. it's quarantine i mean i'm expecting you have a decent amount of time if you're not working get like you can probably finish 10 15 wins today maybe even if you do eight wins today eight wins every day will take you approximately like four days which isn't really that bad considering how much time we have right now 
but I recommend you guys get that done. Then go play your solos. Then, of course, put the sets into everything. And just do what you guys got it all figured out. But, guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below. And if you've been enjoying the content, make sure to like the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.